Good morning. This is Pastor Zach Anderson with Goodland United Methodist Church with the morning devotion for Friday, July 14th. Today we continue the I Am Sayings of Jesus and connect directly to yesterday's theme of sheep and shepherds. Yesterday we heard about Jesus being the gate for the sheep, and today we'll continue in the 10th chapter of John to discover that Jesus is also the Good Shepherd. I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because the hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock and one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me. Because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own accord. I have the power to lay it down. I have the power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. Jesus begins, I am the good shepherd. And the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Unlike bad shepherds who only looked out for number one, the good shepherd is willing to give his life for the sheep. Every one of them is precious to him and and no cost, no sacrifice is too great for him to make for them. In the parable of the lost sheep found in Luke, the shepherd leaves the 99 and the fold to go out in the night to search for the one lost sheep. This reminds us of how much a shepherd could care for his sheep. The good shepherd is more noteworthy. He is pleased to even give his life for the sheep. Jesus is, of course, alluding to the cross where the good shepherd actually gives his life for his sheep. The cross says many things, but above all, it speaks of the love of God revealed in Jesus Christ, the good shepherd. God loves us so much that no sacrifice is too great, no cost too high. Paul said God shows his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The good shepherd knows each of his sheep and they know him. In wonderfully assuring words, Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. Note the personal pronouns in this passage. The the good shepherd says, I know my sheep, and the sheep know my voice. I came that they may have life. I lay my life down for them. They follow me. No one will snatch them out of my hand. The bond of love between the good shepherd and his flock is profound, personal, and strong. In verse 15, it is parallel to the bond between Jesus and the Father. I know my sheep just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. Once we have a relationship like this, we would not want to break it. And Jesus tells tells us that from his side, he will never let us go. When the going gets hard and doubts fill our minds, it is a wonderful assurance to know that the Good Shepherd is always there for us. That the Good Shepherd loves us and cares for us just like a parent loves a child. And this reminds us that Jesus was a missionary. He was sent to this world by God to make possible our salvation. He went to share the good news to share the love of God, and gave the missionary task to his disciples after his resurrection. He sent them out to preach the gospel to the whole world. Let us follow our good shepherd and share that love. Have a blessed day, and we hope to see you on Sunday at 1030 at Goodland United Methodist Church.